what's going on everyone my name is Ali and in this video I'm going to show you how to make any plane orbit around earth or other planets and before we dive deeper into this I'm going to show you an example let's go ahead and watch it and then come back to start creating I hope you enjoyed watching the example. Now, in order to achieve this type of orbiting or rotation around Earth or other planets, you will need to use something called the anchor point. And if you're unaware of that, I'm going to leave a link that's going to show up on the top right for you to go and watch my playlist about the anchor point and have you learn about how to use it to change the way how you can animate your objects to captivate your audience and create more dynamic um, animations instead of just using static images and so let's dive into our example and show you how you can make this plane orbit around the planet that we have in our background so i'm going to start by removing this whole thing and then i'm going to start from scratch i'm going to go to my media folder and grab the image onto my canvas right there and then i'm going to extend this background all the way to about 20 seconds or maybe 18 seconds uh, let's actually do 20 seconds in total and then uh, the next step is to zoom out of our canvas then we're going to add a circle so i'm going to hit the shift key and the letter c and I'll, I'll explain why we're doing that but let's just grab a circle and try to make it about the same size of our planet like this again you might want to zoom in even more to make sure that you have the same size kind of the same size of your planet and then when you're done you can simply deselect your shape and then go to the right uh, panel click on the canvas mode to to show what's outside the canvas and then from there if you want to add some guidelines to help you with the center of this uh, circle then you can simply click on the ruler icon that's going to show up on on a uh, that is shown up on the top right of the timeline to preview the guidelines panel then we can add a, a horizontal line and a vertical line and then uh, the vertical line is uh, pretty much centered already so we can just grab the horizontal one to the center of the circle like this and you can tell just by having a look at your line it's going to change into purple and uh, that's how you know it you know it's basically centered on the circle shape and then from there what you want to do next is grab your plane image so this is the plane image that we're going to use in our scene you may want to resize it and make it a little bit smaller just for now and then when you're done you're just going to uh, rotate it a little bit like tilt it to the right side like this and then what you want to do next is make sure that it's kind of like centered um, above the planet right here and maybe kind of rotate it like that and then what you want to do next is start using the anchor point. So the reason why we had to grab a circle and make it about the same size of the planet is to be able to adjust the anchor point and make this planet rotate or orbit around it in the, in a, in the right way. So I'm going to go to my settings and find where it says anchor point. And then I can now I can see the rounded purple arrow right there so all i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it with my mouse and place it on the center of that circle right there and that's pretty much it now i'm done i can safely delete the guidelines and then click on the ruler to remove the panel and then i can also delete the circle i don't need that anymore so now i'm going to extend the plane image all the way until the end to make sure it is lined up with my background and then the next step is to start keyframing this so all i'm going to do is i'm going to click and add animation i'll use easing as soft so we're going to check soft in and out properties will be rotation next we're going to drag the second keyframe until the end of the layer well towards the end of the layer so you're able to still click it or select it and then you're going to zoom out of your canvas then you will uh, grab your image from any of the corners on you know and have it rotate once just like this and then when we're done we could just go back to the very beginning of our scene have a look at that and then take a look see that now it's going to start animating slow now of course um, you can have it start a little bit earlier actually instead of that starting from the scene so we can click back on the first keyframe and then we could just zoom out and then grab our plane and have it actually start from here so it goes in all the way like this and then you know and this is how it's going to look like so let's have a play and show you what that looks like there you go 
it's now starting to show up and it's rotating and orbiting around the planet perfectly fine without touching the planet and by the way i'm going to leave a link um, in the description below for the same background so you can use it and follow along with me um, as an addition i'll also uh, keep a copy of my sound effect in case you want to use it i'm pretty sure you're going to love it so you can also find it uh, when you click on a link in the description to download the assets for this project so you can easily just follow along with me and uh, if you like this video be sure to like sub you know subscribe to my channel and uh, comment let me know what you're thinking and uh, what do you want to see next also i have created a tutorial that's going to show you how you can create short stories from start to finish in less than 30 minutes if you're keen about watching this wait until the end of the video it's going to show up on the end screen click on it have fun creating let me know your thoughts and until then i'll see you on the next one